All right, so say hello to YouTube. Also, we're gonna watch this. This is Battlefield 2042 development update, maps and specialists, reworks, vault weapons, and more. And I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna react to it, and then um, a good time will be had by all. Let's have it then. Hi, I'm Alexia Christoffi from the Battlefield 2042 development team. Christoffi. We hope you've enjoyed Season 2, Master of Arms. As it draws right. to a close, that marks one year of Battlefield 2042. In that time, oh my God, we've really? you. It's only been one year? Your feedback has been instrumental in how we've been able to evolve and improve the game. So thank you. We're really proud you're of welcome. the work so far. And so any players that haven't jumped in yet, you're going to be able to do so for free. In Boom. December, there will be free access periods to Battlefield 2042 across all platforms. Whilst with the launch of Season 3, Battlefield Free? 2042 will be available for Xbox Ish. Game Pass Ultimate and EA Play subscribers. Uh huh. Here comes its noob Today, invasion. We'll be giving you a further glimpse at what's to come in seasons three and four, but that's not where the Battlefield 2042 journey is going to end. We're already in pre-production on new content that Hold will on. come after season four next year. It's really loud in my ears. My freaking now, ears. On to season three. We'll be revealing it fully later this month, but in today's development update, we'll talk to you more about our areas of focus and what to expect from them. Starting with core gameplay and the return of the classic and familiar Battlefield class system that will arrive later ah. in Season 3 as part of our 3.2 update. Right. Since we confirmed this, we've seen thousands of comments from you all. We've collated and reviewed them as a team to help validate our plan, and we've held extensive internal play tests. Whoa, along look with at all those people they got working on the game. Discuss, test, and play with these rework changes in place. So in our initial hmm. release, you'll see the move back to the class I do like the UI here. Balancing work. As I well like as how the they have it organized. Of design changes. It kind of feels like chivalry. Each class equipment and class gadget of choice. <laughs> Weapon proficiencies will become available and provide gameplay benefits for each class. For example, recons will be better at holding their breath whilst aiming down sights with sniper rifles. One of us is down. Irish moves to support, while Crawford moves to engineer. Irish will take Crawford's current trait, and so Crawford will receive a new trait geared towards engineer gameplay. We want Rao to fit better within the recon class. So now, the audio this, on this video is horrible. We're improving communication between Rao and squad mates to highlight when targets are vulnerable. This work will continue through season four with more design changes to other specialists, balancing changes, as well as new content arriving to fill class gadget choices. That's how the game should have been when it came out though. Continuing in season three will be the addition of more vault weapons, a wide collection of portal weaponry unlocked through assignments. Okay. At the start of That's season cool. three, you'll be able to fight with the XM8 from Bad Company 2, a German assault rifle, hugely effective They're always by both so medium samey. and long range. There will also be the A91 from Battlefield 3, with its high rate of fire and I a like little bit of unpredictability. More vault weapons will then continue to be added throughout seasons three I'm and four. I'm always a sucker for the bullpup rifle. In seasons three and four, we'll continue to bring evolved versions of our existing maps from launch. You're already playing these reworked versions of Kaleidoscope, Renewal, and Orbital. And in Season 3, you'll get to play on new versions of Manifest and Breakaway. Let's take a look at how they're shaping up. Her voice Manifest was different. will be the first map update you'll receive during Season 3. It brings Free. the flags closer together, helping to address the feedback that we've had from players and improve the flow across the map. Bringing the HQ flags closer to the action. Yeah. Getting you in the mix and like on that. the objective much sooner. Cover has been updated across the map, continuing our efforts to bring an updated wow. war-torn feeling and giving you the ability to move securely around the point. That's nice. Up on the hill, we've reworked the number of structures, destroying the radar station and giving you a central point of focus when attacking or defending this objective. From my radar. Meanwhile, down at the docks, we've reduced the number of cranes to help create more focus and to increase the value of holding the high ground. Yeah. With improvements yeah. made across the level to our lighting and visibility, new paths to traverse between flags, and a brand new rush layout. Look forward to Manifest's update when it drops in Update 3.1. Then, later in Season 3, we return with our biggest overhaul yet. Breakaway has been reworked to see one of our favorite play spaces relocated to a new location. Oh, okay. Oil rig now sits much closer to the action, at the foot of our enormous glacier. With new ways to assault the rig and new paths on board the deck, we've ensured that one of our best features sees a lot more action. I mean, this is kind of Down fucking town, awesome. We've arranged the flags to create better objectives, bringing new cover, <laughs> destroyed vehicles, and cleaner navigation to keep the action flowing. 
and over yeah. on the glacier. Good Lord. We've simplified the area to help keep things moving, introducing all new paths through the space and two new flags, Dude. including this downed condor inside an ice cave. It just feels like this is how With the map should have been. No shaders, this is a huge overhaul for Breakaway, and you'll deploy here later in Season 3. Ugh. So next year... The reveal of Season 3 is just around the corner with a new specialist, new battle pass, and more in Portal, as well as new hardware tech, events, experiences, and more. There will also be a new smaller, tighter, infantry focus map in a location new for the tighter. Battlefield franchise, and one close to our hearts here Ew. at DICE. Viseas for Slogfeld Death. Okay. And that's it from me today. In addition to everything we've spoken about, we will continue our commitment to ongoing Whee! quality of life and performance improvements in all our Look, updates. you can do it. On behalf of all the teams continuing to work on Battlefield 2042, we can't wait for you to get your hands on Season 3, then Season 4, and beyond. And for those of you who haven't jumped in yet, you can play free this December. See you on the Battlefield. Okay. So, there you have it. Okay, first of all, this is obvious they want more people to play the game um but that's cool I'm, I'm i'm all i'm all for that it needs more players the new maps look ridiculous in a good way i i uh i love it why the fuck do i have to wait so long though first of all how many maps did they mention in season three two and they're both remakes um kind of need more more than that especially when what they have looks so good it looks really fun and also it's kind of like that especially on that snow map whatever the fuck they call it it always felt like that map had, like, large swaths of just empty area. And now it's kind of like, yeah, that was probably a placeholder <laughs> because they were working on the rest of it. And uh, now it's almost ready. So that's it. And then, of course, the, the vault weapons, dude. I don't know if you guys, if anyone else here besides Mirror Targaryen has played Battlefield 2042, but the, the vault weapons, they all feel like the same gun. All of the rifles feel like all the other rifles. And uh, I hope the the two that they mentioned are not like that. I really like the A A91. That was a good weapon. This this makes me laugh, though. And we've heard extensive <laughs> internal play tests. Along with this this right here. While we look at the fine people of DICE. <laughs> yeah, and then the class system, I don't know, because it's an afterthought, right? Like, they took it out, and now they're putting it back in. I don't know how well it's gonna fit in with the specialists. I don't like the specialists. I wish they weren't in the game, but it's what we got now, and now you're also trying to do both now. And, you know, if they can't do either one well, you're not gonna do both of them well either. And yes, this dude right here, a man, he needs to learn personal space. Look, she's making a stink face too, like, this fucking guy. Who is this guy? All right, I'm done. That's the Battlefield 2042 development update by YouTube.